Guys, I finally did it. I made my own manga today. Check this out. Here's the cover page. Looking fire. Now check this out. First page of the manga. You can't tell me that's not incredible. But check this out, right? The next page is even more fire. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, um, but that's the one that I actually drew. <laughs> so I made an original anime series here on YouTube, and over time I've seen some jokes about making a manga adaptation, and I thought to myself, what if I make this joke into not a joke anymore? Can I really make my own manga even if my drawings look like this? I guess it's time to find out. How's it going everybody? My name is Leo Hashi and welcome back to a brand new video. I would say this video is sort of a spin-off episode of my series How to Make an Anime, which is a series in which I make my very own anime. If you want to check out the entire series, I'll put the playlist in the description. Before anything though, let me give a huge shout out to one of my friends, Kermit Rue on Instagram. She made an absolute banger of a thumbnail for this video. Also, she drew the incredible first page of the manga that you just saw in the beginning. Huge shout out to Kermit Rue. Check out her stuff. I'll put all her links in the description. Also, she gave me this like small llama thing that's like actually really cute. I haven't had a chance to name it yet. Knowing myself, I was going to name it something like Ligma. Today, I wanted to make my very own manga. The very first question that I obviously had was um how the f do i make a manga do you need like specific tools do you need like a special type of pen i have no idea i decided to google some stuff so i clicked and skimmed through like three links and decided to abandon the research completely it just felt like a lot of words and reading is not my forte i kind of forgot half the alphabet so i just decided to do my own thing obviously the first and most important step in any creation is coming up with a story slash title slash you know the basic premise of it for me it's my anime called how Wait, what is it called how did i forget the name of my own anime it's my anime called Wait, why can I not remember? Is it wrong to dab in front of my enemy? If you've never seen the series, basically the premise is there's a main character named Dabuo and he goes on adventures with his two friends, Master Burger and Anako. It's pretty much a My Hero ripoff. The Memer Federation is the good guys and there's a bad guys called the League of Cringe and pretty much they just fight each other and I guess that's just the basic plot points. For this project, I decided to kind of just take the three main characters from my anime and just kind of do like a spin-off like side adventure. Obviously, the next important step for me was to gather the important goodies that I need. Like a sketchbook, I need pens, I need pencils and stuff. I kind of just stole a lot of supplies from my brother in the other room. I also did end up going to Daiso. I am dead inside. How's it going, anime squad? We're here at Daiso. What are you looking at? Why do you keep looking up? Dude, every time you look away, I get like... What are you getting? Oh, we're getting a sketchbook and a pen. I'm going to try to keep it under $10 because your boy is broke. Can you see my chin? I... That's a good better, better ankle. Hey, guys. <laughs> I got a 200 yen sketchbook. Croquis. Croquois. <laughs> Yen's worth more than a dollar. What do you think about that? There's no price tag on these. Does that mean they're free? I'm gonna buy these snacks and make a tier list of how they taste. Sushi restaurant, be like buying these and then selling these for like $20. Oh, actually? Them. Yeah, I eat, I eat like, they taste like rubber. Because they're made of rubber. Damn, I didn't know that. These are your race? made of rubber? <laughs> now that everything that I need was set up, it was time to get to actually drawing. We got to the point where I needed to kind of design the characters on paper and see how it looks like to actually see if I can draw them or not. I won't lie, for me, this is where like the concerns began and my confidence started to go a little lower. I'm not an artist. I don't draw. Let me take you on a quick tour of the Museum of Leo. I don't know how I'm gonna make anything when my drawings look like that. But you know what? I'm not gonna let my lack of ability to draw stop me from creating what I wanna create, which is real art. So I decided to draw the three main characters of my anime Davuo. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> this is my boy. <laughs> Jesus. Man, if only real men like this exist. Master Booger. I didn't leave enough room for the other arm. This is going really well. Um, I feel incredibly conflicted on this one. If I'm gonna hand draw this entire thing and I have to draw this guy multiple times, I might as well just cut my fucking hand off. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but this drawing makes this look like the hottest husbando in the fucking planet. And Anako. <laughs> I. Um, this is bad. What is wrong with her eyes? This is going to be a absolute disaster of a manga. <laughs> Here's the really surprising thing is I actually thought Anako was gonna be the easiest character to draw. Her design is so simple. Like, look at this. I genuinely was surprised when I realized, oh my gosh, I'm butchering Anako. I also decided to design two original characters just for my manga. One of them is the bad guy. This is his design. His name is Heno Heno Moheji. It's pretty much like a really famous drawing of like a face using Japanese letters. He no he no mo he ji. I don't I don't know if that meant to you, but you know. So I just took that 
that very really? famous design and I just kind of made it into a disgusting creature. And the other character that I created for this is called T-Pose-chan, who's literally just a walking T-Pose. Honestly, never thought T-Poses were attractive until today. Wait, hold on. So anyways, now that we kind of designed the characters, I decided to move on to planning the layout of the manga itself. At this point, it was feeling really daunting, just like entire task of like, oh my god, I have to make an actual manga now. I mean, look, I was feeling pretty unconfident because I saw the main characters on paper, how I drew them, and they look like absolute dog to me. So I'm like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this without losing my mind? To make it easier for myself and to feel less anxious about failing completely, I decided to make a really shitty outline of like what I wanted the final version of the manga to look like. Alright, what's good? So I made my um, rough draft manga here. I'll just skim through a little bit of it, but I mean, it looks extraordinarily scuffed. That's supposed to be Master Burger, but he looks like a mushroom. Now he's just turned into- oh, I can't show that. The next step is finally like the meat of the actual process, which is drawing the actual manga. For this part, I did something that I never actually thought I would be doing when it comes to drawing, which is to try. People suggested to me that like I should just do it digitally, take screenshots of the characters, and then make him in grayscale, and then just put him on like a document, and then call it a day. And I said, that's absolutely not, okay? I must pour every ounce of my blood, sweat, and tears into this craft, okay? Because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. This story is something that needs to be told to everybody, and I have to show it the way I want to show it, through these hands of- <laughs> Look, no matter how sh** it looks, at least I can look back and say, hey, it's sh** but I drew it with my very own hands, which is something that I've never done in my entire life, okay? This is not only a challenge for me drawing-wise, but this is a challenge for me just in general, okay? My life. Yeah, that's 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 great. <laughs> it took me over a period of like a week or so to like actually finish it up, but it took me like, I would say anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour to just finish one page. You know what's insane to me is that I haven't used an actual pencil in like probably like a thousand years. It was like meeting an old friend that I never wanted to meet again because pencils remind me of schoolwork and schoolwork is something that I am not a fan of. One thing I never expected to be using ever again is this little contraption here. This fucking pencil sharpener. Like, I haven't used this shit since, like, Japanese school on Saturdays, like, back in, like, sixth grade, dude. I was, like, studying kanji while using this shit. After days of grinding, pouring blood, sweat, tears, and cum into this, <laughs> I had finally finished the drawings of my manga. You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest. This entire video, I've just been shitting on my skills. I know, like I've been saying, Yo, I suck at drawing, you know, I can't draw for shit. To be honest with you, this manga turned out to be pleasantly, like, very mid. Like, it's not the worst thing that I've ever seen in my entire life, which is saying something. Now that the pages were done, I had to scan them into my phone, make them into PDF files, and then send it to my own computer. I don't know what it is, but some of the scans didn't turn out as well as I wanted them to, which sucks a lot because I put in way too much time and effort into this. But you know what? It actually doesn't look that bad, so I can't complain too much. So the next step was obviously adding the text and the bubbles and the squares and the whatever the hell they have in manga. I don't know what they're called. Where the words go? I did this part at a cafe. My friend was also there and she was like actually studying and like doing her homework and like putting in a lot of effort and actually doing uh, her work. And meanwhile, I was sitting next to her uh, making this absolutely legendary manga that will forever be cemented in the memories of those who read it because it's just that fucking incredible. But yeah, so anyways, that process was done. So I compiled all the manga together and it was finally done. Finally, we've arrived at the end of the journey. Oh my fucking god. This took way too long to do, but I actually did it. Hello, this is editing Leo interjecting for a second. I know for manga, you're supposed to read it from right to left. I wrote this entire thing to be read in left to right. And I realized that only after I finished the entire thing and then one of my friends went, hey, I don't think this is the right direction for a manga. And I'm like, oh my god. You're right. I learned a lot. I learned a lot, I will say. Now, I'll link the actual PDF of it in the description below, but at the same time, I wanted to do something special because I don't want this incredible manga and the lifespan that I spent making this manga to go to waste. Here's a very epic live reading of it, okay? Hey, yo, what's good? Welcome to the live reading of my manga. Is it wrong to dab in front of your enemy? Volume number one. In a world full of strange beings, there were three heroes. The three heroes were on a journey they didn't even realize. Their names are Dabuo Unko, he fights by dabbing, Master Booger, the weird mascot dude, and Anako Ketsuno, who fights by shijing. The world is being protected by a group known as the Memer Federation. Their goal is to defeat the evil group known as the League of Cringe. This is just another tale of the three's heroic endeavors. Holy cow, I'm tired. Can we take a short break here? What? We've only been walking for like 10 minutes! So what? Do I need your permission to start feeling tired, Anako? I mean, 
Since you always get tired after every five seconds, maybe you should start asking for permission. You know, ever since we met you, I've been noticing that my back aches more. Do you think it's because I'm literally carrying our entire group on the back whenever an enemy pops up? Like, I don't see another reason why because I'm not a hundred years old. Have you ever thought about not being you for a single day in your life? I mean, I don't even understand how you were doing anything until me or Master Burger arrived in your life. Seriously, I've never met someone who gets tired this much. Like, even old people I know have ten times your stamina and like... You know, you honestly, life would be so much better before like, you walk into it. Like, why can't I just sit down and just take a break like Wario's are? You dumb Both idiot! Of you were yeah, right, loser! Ah! Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Please help me! T pose chan. Species unknown. <laughs> Just stop running! <laughs> heno heno moheji. League of cringe underling. Stop right there! <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm Dabwo Unko, the legend who dabs his way to victory. Oh. Wh wh what? That was not the reaction I expected. Do you think that this is? Watch out! A joke? Dabwo, Anako, Dab Beam. Sheesh! Wh wait. Oh shit! Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. <laughs> So they're the ones I was told about. I'll see you again soon. The end? And yeah, that was my manga. Before we end this video, I want to do a little bit of a special segment where I have an actual artist live read and like react to my manga. In this case, I decided to call up my friend Kermit Rue, who designed the thumbnail on the first page, to uh, tell me what she thinks of my incredible drawings. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the greatest critique of all time. I'm with my friend Kermit Rue. She drew my uh, first page. Oh, sorry. Did I interrupt your hello? Here, you can, no, no, you can, you can say it again. No, it's okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow, this is going so well. She's the artist who actually drew the first page and a thumbnail for this video. And as you saw, they're f***ing incredible. I want this incredible artist to give me honest comments about my drawings. Because as an artist, she has the, uh, the, um, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the, 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 the skills to back up her critique. <laughs> You're don't you high of a pedestal here. Don't you dare draw the first <laughs> page and then show me and go, I'm not good. That's not, that's I'm Cap. Not. You know that's Cap. I did like see a sneak peek of it, right? Because you showed me a little bit. So I have like high expectations. Why? Because it looked good. <laughs> yo, yo, okay, okay. <laughs> this is the manga cover. So this is the first page. Here's the second page. <laughs> You're not sure. I don't see anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. I am actually so stupid. You didn't tell me like for two pages? I I'm... thought we were just still talking about it. You said, here's the next page, and I hear click. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah, now I see it. It's actually the most embarrassing thing that I've ever recorded. <laughs> Master Booger looking kind of. Oh, whoa. Oh. Something's wrong with his Staring face. My he looks beautiful. Are <laughs> you. What's wrong? I'm falling I in love. I think it's because his nostrils aren't <laughs> colored in. I also. Oh my god, I forgot to. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why are you impressed? Oh, because I didn't... I didn't expect that. it to be this okay. good, and you look at this. How can I articulate? <laughs> I didn't expect you put in, like, that much effort in, like, the background. Oh, yeah, no, I, I've actually, like, tried. This is the most effort I put into art before, yeah. which says a lot because this is the best I can do. It's good. I like it. Very abstract. <laughs> Yo, abstract is the most backhanded compliment people give me. Yeah. I don't know why the side profiles are awful. I think it's because they're missing a nose. What do you mean? They have a nose. Where? <laughs> that's the nose? I thought that was like a cheekbone or something. No, that's supposed to be the nose. Why is the nose like inside the face? I actually like this one oh, a lot. I like that. Yeah. What the? <laughs> this is T-Pose-chan. Oh, t <laughs> <laughs> I once made a T pose joke in one of my TikToks, and people in the comments started saying, Fucking ban kid, fucking ban kid humor. <laughs> Weren't you in ban? I wasn't banned for a while, too, like not just one year, like probably like eight years. But like, that doesn't define me, right? I wasn't vice president of my band class in the last year of my high school or anything. Is that T pain? What? What is that supposed to be? This is a T pose. But what's the thing that's T posing? It's just a physical manifestation of a T pose. That's a physical. <laughs> Oh wow, he looks so beautiful, huh? Wow. Oh. Reminds me of like uh, an assignment that the teachers would give during like elementary school. It just sounds like you just insulted me. It's Wait. cute. That's what oh, I'm trying oh, to oh. say. I thought you yeah, meant like, yeah, yeah. yeah, your drawing skills are p on par with the first graders. No, I'm saying it's cute. It's creative. No, you it's okay. You can, mean? you can call me. No, I would never. That sounded so sarcastic. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Things suddenly black. Now Wait, he what? Looks, he has a mustache. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I not f***ing fill this in? God! <laughs> I spent like so long on this page! 
<laughs> Wait, what, you, what is wrong? What's happening? I don't know if I should say it or not. Please say it. First, I want to know what is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be a laser beam. Mm. What'd you think it was? I don't know, something else. What, 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 what is that something else? Like what? a part of a body. What part of the... Like an arm. Oh. Can you still, like, not tell that these are lasers? Now I can tell they're lasers, because it comes from something. It literally says Uka. <laughs> oh, wow. The cliffhanger. Yeah, right? What will T Posa Chan do next? I think it was actually really good. I thought you were, like, for the shits and giggles, going to do, like, absolute shit on it. But, like, I can see the effort in the drawings, you know? <laughs> yes! Let's go! For someone who hasn't, like, drawn, you did pretty well. Yeah. Hope this gives you enough motivation to make part two. I <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of this process. To be honest with you, man, I had a pretty good time. I actually thought I was gonna like die inside because like, again, I didn't think I was that good at drawing. I will say this experience did definitely teach me a lot, including, hey, if I don't try, then I'll never get good at it. I think I'm very happy overall that the end result was actually super mid instead of being awful. I'd rather have something that's like readable and at least somewhat enjoyable than something that's so shitty that like, I wouldn't even want to look at it again. I won't even lie. Sometimes I look at these pages and I'm like, dude, I'm like the next in Picasso. Yeah, this was definitely a fun video. I don't know if I'd ever do it again to be honest with you but i also think making like these spin-off videos of like my anime is actually a pretty fun idea if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more i'm planning to make my next video anime episode six and yeah that's pretty much it for today so again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode or whatever i decide to make peace out hey.